Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the Philips Hue bulb without a bridge. All right, let's get into it. All right, with me is the Philips Hue bulb white blanco here. And this bulb actually has Bluetooth and Zigbee support and you can set it up without using bridge. And this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So the first thing that you want to do is to download the Philips Hue app from the Google Play Store and the App Store. Before you actually had two apps, the Philips Hue app and then the Philips Hue Bluetooth app. So if you wanted to set up a Philips Hue bulb that supports Bluetooth, then you needed to download the Philips Hue Bluetooth app. However, Philips merged these two apps into a single app and it's now called a Philips Hue app. So just download it from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Now, the way that you know that you don't need a bridge is if the bulb that you bought has the Bluetooth logo on the box. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So download the Philips Hue app from the Google Play Store and start it, okay? So I have mine here already. Now tap on get started here, accept the terms and conditions, and here you have the option to either sign in or create a Hue account. Now this is an optional step, you can either create an account or not. One of the things I really love and appreciate about Philips Hue bulbs or smart products is that you can actually use them without creating an account. So this is a plus for people who are privacy sensitive, all right? However, creating a Hue account lets you do more with your Philips Hue system. You know, you can add an extra layer of security. You can set up multiple uh, devices and they all work together. You can control lights while you're away from home with a Hue bridge. Then you can sign in to multiple devices and see who has access to your system. So that is one of the benefits of having a Hue account. But if these features don't mean much to you, then you can just keep creating an account. Okay, you can choose to opt in to promotional messages from Philips Hue. I'm just going to skip that. All right, so the setup process now starts here. Okay, so click on Start Setup. And then here we are asked if we want to add a bridge. Now, since I have the version that has Bluetooth, I can set it up without a bridge. So I'm just going to say no here. And then you'll be asked if you want to add lights or a smart plug. So here I'm just going to say yes, since I have the bulb. Okay. And then here we're going to be asked to enter our name and email so that Philips Hue can send us important security updates and security improvements. Yeah, so I don't know why they actually asked for this because it looks like I'm creating an account, but well, all right. You'll be asked if you want to use a voice assistant. I'm just going to say no at the moment. And also to use a voice assistant, for example, Alexa or Google Assistant, you will need a Philips Hue bridge, which I don't have at this moment. So if you don't have the bridge, just skip this step, okay? And then you'll be asked if you want to add Hue Bluetooth lights. I'm just going to say add light since that's what I have here. So before you add a Bluetooth light, just make sure that you have Bluetooth turned on on your smartphone. All right, so the app is going to start scanning for any nearby Hue lights. So just make sure that your smartphone is very close to the bulb. Oh yeah, so the pairing prompt is here. I'm just going to accept it here. I'm going to say pair, okay. And there you go. The pairing process seems to be successful. And now I'm all set. All right, so this is now the Philips Hue up here. You can see the light is already here. We have the Hue white lamp and you can turn it on and off using your app. You don't necessarily need to use the switch here. Okay, and then my favorite part here, we have scenes. Now scenes are really light modes that you can set depending on the time, the activity, on what you're doing and what, how you're feeling. And we have a number of presets here from Philips that you can actually use. You know, if you're reading, you can set a specific light mode for that. If you're sleeping, if you're getting ready to go to bed, if you've just woken up, if you're watching a movie, listening to music, whatever, you can set the right appropriate mode here, right? And if nothing really suits your needs, then you can also set up a custom scene where you can set the light temperature and the brightness and the color and so forth. 
and then you can name it you can give it a meaningful name that you can remember okay and easily access after a specific period of time okay and then the other feature that i love here is routines so you can set the bulb to turn on a specific time of the day and turn off at a specific time of the day for example it can turn on at night at 7 pm and then you can turn off at 7 am in the morning automatically all right you also have a timer here where you can set specific time in minutes or hours when you want the light to automatically go off so this is really awesome this is really cool this helps you to basically just automate your life and have the light work for you i love that all right and now you can get into the settings and just find out more about your light you can do firmware updates here you can reset a light or you can delete it and this is really cool great so this has been our video on how to set up the philips hue light bulb without a bridge and again just to recount you need the light that supports bluetooth and you can know that by seeing the bluetooth logo on the box of the light all right if you don't see the bluetooth logo on the box then it most likely requires the bridge which you either buy separately or you buy as a set or as a pack if you like this video go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one